Out of all the mini warbirds from FMS, this Quartzer FOU is my favorite. And today it's a really windy day. I'm at a new location. So this is quite near uh, the archipelago. So it's always windy and today it's just crazy. I mean, 10 to 15 meters per second. So I'm using a safe to launch this one uh, just to, to uh, avoid it you know, dipping down this wind. So let's just... Uh, Turn off safe and start flying this warbird. I'm using this Smithar prop, which uh, has this interesting, almost like a glow engine sound to it. And it it is you know crazy windy today. I probably wouldn't fly most stars airplanes in this wind. You probably can hear the wind just uh, going through all the leaves and trees. So I have the wind coming really strong from my right side. And honestly, this location is always windy. So I've tried to fly on this location on a few times and uh, it's never calm. It's always windy. I really enjoy to fly at new places and explore. This is just another area to fly that I can add. It's a pretty good place, at least like 100, 150 meters wide and, and long, so ample space. And this is also midday, so I have the sun straight middle of the sky is a little bit difficult to avoid. So when I actually face the wind I can, I can tie it. Then when I go down with it, it's really speedy. So just facing the wind and now you know, I can kite this mini warbird. So this is a lot of fun and a good challenge to fly any RC plane. And I'm not really afraid that if I would somehow, you know, go down uh, crash this one and repaired it so it's always good to have one or two planes that you're not too afraid to just push them and explore new new things and wind and stuff like that so if you haven't seen my experience with this FMS Corsair FBU I recommend that you search in my video gallery and look because an interesting rescue mission where I got this one off a uh, roof so it's been, uh, been around this, this one and I removed the landing gears and uh, so this is only a belly lander and I got some red straps and one of the wing halves as well it's just, it's just super windy, just crazy. So one minute left on this 3S 800 millimeter, 800 milliamp battery. land on the grass so I just have to circle and, and, and hope I don't get caught by a wind gust and it's surprisingly steady to be fighting this kind of wind but in general terms I, I, I like to fly a larger RC plane much more but I would never fly, you know, one of my 1.1 to 1.5 meter wingspan RC plane in this wind because the bigger the planes, the bigger the crash, the bigger the damage. But this one even, I mean, I can have quite severe hard landings and it will still survive. So I think it's just time to get this one down then. 
going to aim to put it down somewhere at, at the grass part. So that's usually what you see when you land this one, just pops out of the sky. But uh, it survives, it, it's a really fun one, it is more fun when you have less wind. I really dig this FMF course here, and as you see I, I painted nose also, so it's a little bit different than the stock one. So thank you for watching this video.